Happy 5th of August 2012 everybody. Wow, what a Saturday of British Olympics. Three golds on the track. Greg Rutherford became the first British man to claim long jump gold since Lynn Davis in 1964. Mo Farah became the first British athlete to win a global title in the 10,000 metres. And of course, Jessica Ennis won gold in the heptathlon. Britain are doing fantastic at the moment with 29 medals and third in the medal table. You may recall that in Beijing we finished fourth behind Russia with 47 medals. We're looking really good at the moment. Come on Britain! And let's give those athletes a tribute who have won a medal at the London Olympics thus far. On sportgent.com we would like you to tell us about your favourite moment of the 2012 Olympics so far. Let us know on our official sportgent.com page in the comments section below. Get typing. Now it's not all about the Olympics don't you know. Congratulations to Kevin Peterson who batted fantastically well on Saturday in the second test match against South Africa reaching a century. He is currently on 182 and looks likely to reach his second century in the same game. Pretty amazing, well done. Football transfer news, Joseph Yobo will be making his way to Fenerbahce from Everton on a three year deal. Also Bournemouth have confirmed that Richard Hughes will complete his move to the club from Portsmouth following a medical. Oak Brand can make you last longer when doing endurance based exercises believe it or not. This is according to the study in the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition. The aim of the study was to evaluate the effect on oat bran on time exhaustion glycogen in animals. The animals were divided into three groups, a controlled group done or received nothing, an exercise group that received a controlled chow and an exercise group that received oat bran. Exercise groups were submitted to an eight week swimming training protocol. And the last session, animals performed exercise to exhaustion. Results showed that the oat bran group's time of exhaustion was 20% higher when compared to other intervention trials. Also, glycogen stores in the solulus, that's muscle on the side of the calf, were 59.7% higher than other groups. In conclusion, having oat bran rich diets can retain glycogen stores for longer, which would be particularly useful for those of you who do endurance based exercise. Sportgent.com is now optimised for mobile devices. If you have an iTouch, an iPhone, you can have Sportgent.com as a web app simply by tapping Add to Home Screen. Speaking of apps, App of the Week is CoachNote. It allows you to use a variety of sporting templates to create practices with a range of drawing tools. You can draw out tactics, record screen and play them back to your teams. For more on CoachNote, check out our full review here. Let's just say we had a lot of good things to say about it. And that's your lot for the lowdown today on the 5th of August 2012. Be sure to leave your comment on your favourite moment on the 2012 Olympics so far. I'm Carla and you can catch SportGen when you want online at sportgent.com.